session along with us Dr. Meghna Adwai. Dr. Meghna did her bachelor, master and PhD degree in the field of plant sciences. After completion of that, she also completed MD in the subject of alternative medicine. She possesses a publication more than 10 in a journal of national as well as the international review. She has also written one book. Currently, she is having two projects from a state as well as a national organization. And she is in a field of teaching this last 10 years. Madam, we are welcoming you on behalf of GSBTM as well as Ram Krishna. Also gets water. 
you take oak tree which is the largest tree or highest in height uh, 200 meters 300 meters in that tree also the top most leaf is having the water and food availability how this happens it's a miracle we all talk of miracles right but this real miracles are this it happens in life but we don't observe it so it is it was my observation and when i was of your age that how come a water molecule from the root teeth goes to the shoot teeth or during photosynthesis the sugar molecule which is formed in the kitchen of the tree or plant goes to the non photosynthetic organs you take it potato potato it is there present in the soil beetroot it is present in the soil right so how this and they have form of starch and sugar right so how the sugar molecule which is formed from the top of the tree is being lodged into the lower most part of the plant this is one miracle so many scientists worked on it since 18th century 17th 18th century and a beautiful theory today at 21st century we can explain the whole mechanism how the sucrose or the sugar molecule which is formed during photosynthesis is being transformed from a leaf or a kitchen of a plant to the non photosynthetic or the receiving end or you can also say a sink organ if why we call it as sink we deposit everything in sink in kitchen you go the vessels you don't use it it is to be washed it is dumped in the sink right so here similarly the sugar which is been formed is been dumped into the sink organs now which are the sink sink organs the sink organs are the meristematic tissues the leaves young leaves very young leaves which have which are not taking part in the photosynthesis or you can say which have not yet started to export these sugars roots vegetative organs like roots and rhizomes vegetables fruits these are the sink organs or the part in which the sugars are being deposited and these are the organs from which the sugars can be taken up also there is continuous utilization see we all know that the main source of this whole universe is energy without energy nothing is possible now from where this energy comes if we talk about the cellular level see the main energy if we talk about is the solar energy we get the solar energy and we survive but if we talk at the cellular level there are several energy molecules like adps gtps which provides energy now how this molecules come from this molecule comes from the sugars metabolism of the sugars through respiration glycolysis pentose pathway crab cycle electron transport chain so the molecule so now we will see how this molecule which is formed is been transported from the 
top to bottom or who is responsible for the transportation now before starting this you need to know certain basic things fundamental things of botany it is very easy you must have studied plant tissue plant tissue consists of two types one is simple tissue another is complex tissue simple tissue consists of the parenchyma 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 right while complex tissue very beautiful it consists of two main tissues one we call it as xylem another we call it as phloem that is i think some if some few gujarati medium students if they are there then jalvahini ane anvahini now this xylem and phloem what they are why they are known as complex tissue what is there in it why it is known as complex tissue so if we see to it then you will find that there are several thickenings on a tube like structure on the surface inner surface of the tube like structure in some according to the species of a plant you will find these spiral like thickening in some plants you will find the reticulate type of thickenings sometimes you find it any other type of thickenings and in most advanced plants you find the single pitted or double pitted type of thickening so this is this makes whole tissue system a complex system why complex because it is involved in a miracle miracle of transportation of water if we talk about another complex tissue phloem this is xylem the more beauty of this part i like this more than xylem this phloem it is living as well as non living there is one part of this tissue which is also been a tube like structure but along with that it has got one cell another which is known as companion cell which is living in nature it does all the metabolic activities but basically the metabolic activity related to the transportation and this tube which we call it as a phloem tube is having at the intermediate distance it is having a plate like or a disc like which is a sieve sieve plate like charni gujarati mein apne charni kahiye charni which is having holes right so this whole structure forms a phloem tissue now we say you all know we say that phloem tissue transports sugar and xylem tissue transports water by this discrimination that xylem transport why can't xylem transport sugar and phloem can't transport the water or minerals why this discrimination in nature so the answer is for this we need to go to certain few physical phenomenons which you need to know i think you are well aware of it one is osmosis right you all know ashruti okay 
then you know water potential ha huh? the energy required for the flow of water then these are the two ha huh? and one more thing capillary action right these are very few common phenomena that we need to know when we study the transportation of the uh, sucrose and water or, or minerals one more thing i might like to demonstrate before i start if you consider this is a soil some water is there right i will add some dye so that you can know you can see the color of water easily right so now i have got three tubes three different tubes huh? of different diameters one is very capillary see this is particle pipette you all are knowing i was not having any capillary so i just brought it this is straw okay with different diameter and this is test tube now if i put this test tube ha huh, inverted open it inside the water what do what can you see what is where is the water level in the test tube similar to that of the water level in the glass okay fine now if i put this straw inside the what is the level same okay now if i put this capillary can you see it is almost higher to that of the surface level from here i can see it is more than the surface level it has gone on the top of the surface level almost 1 cm more but if i sub if i sub what will happen what will happen the water has come up in the straw in my mouth so this is what actual phenomenon that occurs in nature this is called the suction force now from where this force comes does anybody like me comes and sucks the leaves no transpiration through transpiration transpiration is what loss of water tons of water has been lost now due to this loss of water a pressure is created a suction pressure is created and that pressure will help the water column to maintain in the zygote second thing that the roots of the plant there is a beauty in that also the root is having root hairs also huh? if you have seen the structure of roots then along with that there is the root hairs this hair hairy like structure this we call it as root hairs now this root hairs helps to provide more surface area for the absorption of the water so what will happen the water from the soil will be taken up through the suction pressure that is been developed by the transpiration process and the whole water column will be maintained and the water will be transformed from the xylem to the other parts of the plant now 
there are several theories regarding this uh, you can say transportation of water like vital theories cohesion and adhesion theories cohesion and adhesion these are also another two words that you need to know when you study the transportation so what is cohesion cohesion is the force that is being there or you can uh, on the cell feels that force in relation to the water and adhesion force force sorry is the force which it feels with the surface that is if we talk about the water the water is the water whole water column in the xylem uh, see uh, we have we are having buildings we are having house right now you must have seen that there is a lower tank below the uh, lower ground and there is a over overhead surface tank uh, if the surface tank uh, sorry overhead tank water is finished empty what you will do and you are begging ah uh, you are begging mama please motor chalu karo pani khatam right this is what the scenario so what your mother will do you, 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 she will go and just uh, on the motor so with the help of the electricity the water uh, motor uh, will work and it will transfer through the pipeline but here in plants there is no such what motor but still be pressure only because of this pressure suction based pressure it the whole water column is maintained in the pipeline of the plant and this as we were talking about the uh, suction uh, pressure and the how the water huh, one more thing how the water molecules enter into this root heads or how it is been sucked so two more theories are there over here one through capillary action as we have seen more water is there through capillary action simple no energy is required over here that's it and another is the concentration the cytosol concentration is more than the water present in the soil so what will happen water will move from lower concentration to the higher concentration so this is how at the lower level the water molecules go it goes from cell to cell it goes from cell to cell how it goes from cell to cell there are special parts see if you want to go in jungle you want to explore a jungle how will you go you will take up a path it is like that as a full jungle of cells now water molecule has to travel so it needs a path and that path are two ways one is apo apo plastic pathway and thin plast or thin plastic pathway simplest we being the plasma that is the connection of the two cells through pores which we call it as plasmodesmata very good
is known as symplastic transportation. So, the water molecules that has been taken up by the root hairs, that has been taken up by the surface of the root, by the cells, they will be traveling through the apoplastic and symplastic pathway. But if you have seen the section of roots, and tears of sunflower roots are put there, yeah, they have epidermis, cortex, endodermis, pericycle, stellar region, feet. In stellar region, you will find xylem and fluid. Simple, but you see over here, in endodermis, you will find some deposition, stulum genegarians here, sasperian strip. Antaha sthar, it like a endodermis. In endodermis, you will find at certain regions, if this is the endodermis, epidermis, vortex, okay, pericycle, then in root, there is the deposition of subenic. And this subenic deposition is known as, this whole strip is known as Casparian strip, which gives hurdle to the apoplastic pathway to the water. Here also because of this, the pressure is created and because of this pressure, the water will transport from the outermost part to the stellar region and from the stellar region cells the water will be dumped into the xylem. Now along with water certain minerals are also been absorbed. Now this minerals when it goes in the cell it increases the concentration of the cell and because of that also the water transportation is easy. Now this all things are on the phenomenon where energy is not, we have not discussed about the energy. So when energy is not being dispersed, such type of transportation is known as passive transportation. When we talk about passiveness, that is always opposite part activeness. Then if passive is so easy, what is the requirement of the active? Why you need active transportation? You need active transportation. Why? No, it is efficient. Well efficient. When children are in the nursery, they you have to go to the nursery. So that, yes. Okay, that is a stress condition. We we are just talking about the normal condition to understand the transportation. There are several environmental conditions like stress conditions or availability. More stress are of two types. More availability of water like flood condition less availability of water, broad conditions. In those extreme conditions, the transportation or the conditions is different. But here when we are talking about just simple transportation, it is simple transportation, right? So we will take an ideal condition where water availability is there. So passive transport is good, but why there is need? Still there is a need of active transport to maintain the water column. Okay, now to maintain this water column into the xylem, you need more water. And now this more water is being uh, provided by two, active process and passive process. So why, how this active, so my uh, point is to explain you why active process. So, you know, the mother role is that of the energy role or you can say a proton role. 
which supplies the energy which brings that proton brings the water molecule so enough water is there you don't need the water but still the water molecule is been dumped no aapko nursery jana hai aapko ye bhi chahiye padna hai compulsory so water molecule that is an active process that is an active energy there is a force of creating a child to be to be seen to be nursery huh? so that dragging is done by the energy so here also the active transport is being done by the energy so wherever the energy is atp right atp is required for the transportation from the and this transportation active transportation is always observed in the from one membrane to the other membrane okay from the cells surrounding the xylem if here the xylem is there the cell surrounding the xylem so what will happen that the atp will join with the water molecule it will drag the water molecule from the cell because water will not come out of the membrane it will it needs energy and that energy is utilized and is is been dumped into the water column and so this type of transportation where proton this are known as pump as we have i give you one example ha huh? pani chala gaya motor chalu karo motor pump that is active process here the active our motor or pump is atp pump the proton is released it is being uh, the that proton pump will drag the water molecules from the cells to the xylem and this whole theory of transportation of water molecule from the cell with the help of the proton it is known as the proton pump theory and it is the active theory transportation theory now if you take the sections you will find that there are always in the stellar region there are vascular bundles ha vahi pulo avela hoy chhe ane aa vahi pulo ni andar jal vahi ni ane an vahi ni padu baju ma that means that in the stellar region both xylem and phloem are situated very near to each other that means if you take ls what you will find that xylem and phloem are next to each other now here what will happen that we all s c uh as we know sugar molecules have been transported in the phloem water molecules have been transported in the xylem now this sugar molecules they are present so what will happen if in water you add sugar one spoon two spoon three spoon what will happen concentration will be Similarly, over here, it is fully highly concentrated. Why? Because the what uh, sugar is exported from the kitchen. It is been dumped into the phloem, and that phloem is been conducting the sugar. So, along the side of the phloem, if the xylem is flowing, the water, some part of the water, is also been given to the phloem along with the some. part of mineral nutrition some part of mineral nutrition that is been taken by the roots and because of this water the sucrose transportation also becomes very key that we will see in sucrose transportation and also the mineral nutrition are been transported to the to the site where the minerals are necessary there it is necessary where minerals are necessary they are the raw material for the food right so in kitchen where you will keep your vegetables in kitchen similarly over here 
mineral nutrition they have been absorbed by the roots they have been dumped into the kitchen yes lower group of plants you will find such things where uh, steely is not been uh, well differentiated you will find the xylem and phloem patches okay but in in between there are cells so at that time what will happen that the water from the cells adjacent cell will go because see osmosis here it is it is not so that only xylem will Uh, ha having only osmotic theory and the cell cell is also living so that living cell will also undergo that osmosis that will also uh, feel the osmotic potential why because the osmotic potential of the phloem is very high baro ke ashru pi sabhi vadare sema ase phloem ma ase kem ema sugar vadare hoy che baro ne to shu thase pani ja concentration vadare che to pani about the sugar transformation. 